Welcome back. You're still tuned into Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. It's time to talk commodities now. Manisha Gupta is joining us as always with all the update from the commodity markets. Hey Manisha, good morning. Friday mood in the commodity markets or not? <laughs> well, I can't say that really because you have the U.S. <laughs> Fed chairman, uh, you know, uh, testimony today in the evening. So that speech is what the street is really awaiting. But ahead of that, it is the U.S. dollar index trading at a seven-week highs, and that seems to be putting pressure on commodities. So you have the gold prices declining for a third straight day, and they are trading at a March lows. And we are all the way back down at nineteen sixty dollars per ounce, with nearly three percent of a decline in this week. The decline also has been seen in case of the crude oil prices, where we also are looking at <laughs> higher entries this time around and uh, you know there is a bit of a buying of course after 14 percent decline in the past month so we still are headed for a weekly gain of two to three percent but the metal price is also after nearly two days of gains the last two sessions that is most of them are still headed for a decline this week copper for one is headed for a fifth weekly decline the strength in u.s dollar index clearly weighing across commodities Okay, all right. So that's the commodity market action. Thank you so much, Manisha, for joining us with that.